And welcome back to the Camping World Kickoff, presented on ESPN by National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. A very tasty collision here in Orlando between an ACC and an SEC heavyweight. It's not Doak Campbell Stadium, but it feels a lot like it. As you see, Osceola aboard Renegade, ready to fire the spear in the ground. Ole Miss, ranked number 11 preseason, and Florida State, ranked number four. Keeping a smile. And trusting the process. Well, the Knowles won the toss deferred. And another freshman, Logan Tyler, will boot it away to Carlos Davis for the Rebels. And it'll be a touchback. So Kirk, we're going to see Chad Kelly doing a lot of different things. Kelly well protected. Loops the ball to a wide open man, A.J. Brown, the true freshman from Starkville, rumbling into Florida State territory. The Akeem Judd is the back to the right of Kelly. But the quarterback keeps it and now throws it to Ingram down inside the five, takes a big shot, holds on, but it'll be first and goal. Go and Chris, red zone execution for both teams. Touchdowns versus field goals. Kelly, slam, caught, touchdown, DeMaurier Stringfellow. And the Rebels strike in less than two minutes. Well, that's the way you draw it up for Ole Miss. To play on the ball. Great execution. Gary Wonderlick knocks the extra point through. Stringfellow. And Francois. First pass attempt of his career is a completion to Travis Rudolph along the near sidelines, close to the marker. Cook. Barrels for a first down up near the 45. It's going to be. And the freshman, Puck Fix, keeps it. No! Marquise against this tempo. It's another thing to see it in person. Kelly, who can run it, takes off, pump fakes, pulls the defense and shows the quicks. Sliding for another first down. And we talked about his creativity in the open. He had to wait on the ball. Now Kelly up, firing quickly. Intercepted. Picked off by Derwin James, who redeems that earlier mistake. What a player. Francois delivers, looking for Izzo, the tight end, incomplete, very, very well covered. See if they can catch Florida State off guard here. Kelly flushed, keeps it again, this time will be slammed down well short of the first down. So a three and out for his check, just eight yards in his first four carries. Francois, a slant, caught, first down and more. Bobo Wilson darts across the 40-yard line. Well, this is a great... A short delivery, trying to get Cook as many touches as they can, and he makes a nice gain just short of the marker. It's two, it accomplishes two things there if you're Jimbo. 23. Francois lost to get downfield for Dalvin Cook, and Dalvin Cook gets a first down at the Ole Miss. Third. Sells a chance. Patrick again on second and two, picks his way for a first down. He goes 230 pounds, so it's kind of a, a thunder and lightning combo. They're moving people around to adjust to the injuries to these corners. On second and eight, Francois rolls out. Man wide open in the flat. And the catch is made by Rudolph. First down and a flag after the tackle. D backfield. Two in the play clock. If he got the snap off, barely. It's incomplete in the end zone. It'll be fourth down. And something he can learn from. Here's Aguayo, but it's not Roberto, it's Ricky Aguayo, the younger brother of the great Florida State All-American. No redshirt season for him. An injury, even though the same leg, a different injury than he faced last year, but bad news for the Rebels. On third and two, a handoff, and breaking free for a first down is Akeem Judd. That felt like a big play, even though it's early second, Kirk. Well, and, and the reason is they ended the game. So depth being tested on both sides. Play action, they flip it to Ingram, and he muscles forward. You got a draft guy, the security blanket. 
On third down, a little option look, and Kelly darts for a first down. Takes a big shot inside the 25 by McFadden. But again. Kelly, another dart. Ingram open with room. Barrels down inside the 10. Remember, you have the starting linebacker, Hoskins, actually down inside this area. Kelly, jump ball, caught, touchdown, D.K. Metcalf, the true freshman. Oh. One from their hometown, one from the Bulldogs' hometown. Metcalf, Kirk, they say he's got a huge upside. They wondered where the... Flushed. Sacked. Oh. They do have some players up front, and they got some linebackers who can get after the quarterback. That's DeMarquis Gates. He lost for this Knowles offense. Got a hurry on third and 20. Once again, see the short arm throw. Not a very good series for Francois at all. When you see a young crew, back shoulder, great throw. That 21 yards. Kelly firing again right down the middle. Wide open. Down inside the red zone. Taz Zettergren, the backup tight end. So reminiscent of the first drop. Kelly rolls and throws back. Knowles are ready. Thomas delivers the big shot. Kelly across the middle. Touchdown! Evan Ingram. A monster night so far. And the Rebels stretch it. Well, he saw Matt Ingram wasn't even looking for the football. But that's the off-season work that Kelly and Ingram to communicate. We haven't communicated all game. Thank you, Sam. Second and eight. Making the catches. Bobo Wilson for a first down 20 minutes into the season, and Kelly's haven't asked those hard questions. When he's ready, he taps the center. All right, back to third and seven now. <laughs> Deep drop. Deep throw into traffic, far sidelines, incomplete, and a flag. Incredible. His face mask. Ball moved to the 28. Francois throws back to a wide open Dalvin Cook, who collects it and dropped the ball before he crossed the goal line. Dalvin Cook drops it. Knowles keep it at the three, but wow. I cut. Roll him out away from trouble. Yep. Low throw. No. Rudolph couldn't come up with it. It'll be third and goal. Got to hurry. From the pocket. A dart incomplete. Tried to get the ball again to Rudolph. But it's fourth down. 25 earlier. This from 21. And Roberto's little brother knocks it right through. So the Knowles in the red zone and 10, both five-star true freshman receivers are in the game. Kelly delivers it far side to one of them, A.J. Brown, who's going to have a, a big career just based on the first half so far. And Kelly shows how dangerous he is as a runner, how frustrating for a defense. When you play man-to-man -man play chart together. Now it's a one-pager. Yeah. No flag. Now a flag comes in late. That was Marcus Lewis defending on DeMarcus. Dave Rawls on the same page. Kelly loops it. Adeboisio running free. Makes the catch out of bounds. And the Rebels threatening to blow this open before halftime. Hand on it. And second down handoff. Judd. Sutter steps. And gets into the end zone. Rebels in the red zone. Stay perfect tonight. Great job by the right. Who's been very, very patient. Wants to make the most of this season. Cook with Francois. And second and 16. Wide open. Bobo Wilson makes a catch and scampers out of the 40, and it's Ole Miss's secondary. The they back off. 
Again, Cook underneath. And not escape. And he stopped short of the first. Dalvin's got it. And he's got a first down and more. Stumbling. Looked like he had open field. Is spotted down at the fifth. Put up a crease. Francois pressured, hit, delivers, a strike, and a touchdown! Travis Rudolph, right in the middle of the field. And as you called for, he took a huge shot. But a second until he had Rudolph where he wanted him for the touchdown. Marquise Haynes is a pass rusher. Unofficial coach. Play action on the first play. Francois to the edge, fires far side, it's complete. And knocked down after the play is Whitfield. It's a good catch, no flag. Can they do it for 60 minutes? Francois in the pocket, delivers, wide open, over the middle. Wilson darting down to the 25-yard line. The Knowles are in business again. It's about the steady senior receiver so far. Under first down throw, gets it out. Dalvin Cook takes a shot and has wrestled down a physical battle there with Terry Caldwell, the linebacker. Bulls converted their last two third downs. They need four here. Another throw. Francois fires, tipped away at the last minute. Nice job to break up the play there. Had a man open. So Ricky Aguayo, his big brother Roberto watching, knocks it just down the middle, just like Roberto used to do. So the Noel. Oh, Chad Kelly, he led him right to the throw. Again, this one intended for Ingram, off his hands and intercepted. Marcus Lewis, the second pick for Kelly, but that one was on the receiver. And the ball. On second and ten, quarterback was waiting for something, didn't happen, but just takes off. Francois in the open field, diving toward the pylon. Knocked out short. Quez Patrick in the I formation on first and goal. Got a big defensive tackle in there. They hand it up short to the fullback who muscles near the goal line. Stevenson thinks he scored. Well, I thought he did too. He yeah. did. Yep. There's a consensus late. And Lewis's pick. Francois into the first half. Could be a confidence builder for him and the rest of the offense. And they sure have taken advantage of their eight. So they gave the Knowles a chance to substitute. They didn't. And Kelly is chased. Lost the ball. It's out. Still being fought for. Florida State's got it. And who makes the play? The leader to mark it with an athletic quarterback. Also an option. They flip it on the end. Whitfield. Florida State takes the lead. Francois looks across the middle and a misfire there. Auden Tate, the sophomore, is rolling down. Kelly, downfield. Threw it behind Jefferson who couldn't fight the way back. They need 10. Francois scampers free in the open field. First down, much more. Still running. Cuts it back, knocked down at the fourth. Well, that, his whole career. From the pocket now, short strike. And the catch is made by Devontae Phillips, who gets involved for the first time. Second and two. You feed the fullback Stevenson. Kirk, this Rebels defense has been on the field. Nap right now. You fake it to Patrick. Francois. Wide open Izzo. Dragged down to the two. Everything Jimbo's dialing up is working. Cook watching. It's Patrick and Stevenson. And a throw to wide open Izzo to cap the drive. Easy throw for Francois. Wow, perfect again. 
yeah. allowed Christmas to time it up and bat it down. Third and nine and some urgency for Ole Miss. Kelly dropped. Demarcus Walker got him again. The man who forced the fumble last year. And a snap there by Haynes. Rebel showing big pressure on third and 15. They hand it off to Cook. Dalvin Cook gets the edge, gets the first down out to the 40. Is he starting to heat up? Check the threat of Cook running the ball. Near sideline, it's Wilson making the catch. Oh, he's got no voice, but he's still got the know-how. <laughs> <laughs> on the roll, very simple, old-school looking play. Gets so what has been a stunning, dominant third quarter for Florida State. Francois escapes, fires, sideline, caught, first down. Again, Wilson. And, and there, they play him for 60. Isn't that part of Jimbo's pregame speech? Francois pulls it. Fires it far side, and all of a sudden, all this underneath stuff is wide open. That's Rudolph. Fears that, fears that big play potential. Cook trying to deliver a big play, cuts it back. This time they do set the edge and wrestle him down, but he's got first down yardage. I think what Womack feared though is what we're seeing. Third down play. We need six. Play clock at two. Got to hurry. They just get it off. Pressure immediately. An attempted pass, the ball's loose. Still fighting for it. Signaled, fumbled, Ole Miss recovery. But and the kicking Aguayo family <laughs> continues to shine. Four for four. <laughs> Ice water in his vein. Defense running out of fuel. Kelly sidesteps the rush, launches it downfield to Ingram, who makes a spectacular catch in traffic at the 30. Just a three-yard gain, though. Kelly now lofting it in the end zone. Caught for a touchdown. That was Jefferson working free. Beat Trey Marshall, who's trying to grab a hold of him. A Kelly. Incomplete. Tried to rifle the ball to Stringfellow. With a little bit of mojo, that drive can get the Ole Miss defense back into the game as well. Noble boots it right to Whitfield, who fielded almost accidentally at the goal line. Breaks free. Kermit Whitfield. Jeff. Rebels rush four, close in, and I'm fired over the middle, complete. Rudolph, a crucial third and long. He takes it. Played zone on the last third down. Gets it out quickly. Catch made by Murray, one of the young receivers in this team. Nyquan knocked down career. And make it an eight-point lead. <laughs> Wow. How many more Aguayo brothers are there? Do they have three or four more? Because they could all kick the ball between the uppers categories last year. Second and four. Lofted over the head of Adeboijo, who was behind McKelly is swarmed and dropped. And that third and four play is blown up by the Knowles defense. And Swan fires complete. And one more time, it's to Kermit Whitfield. It's the tough SEC defense. Pulls it. Flips it far side. Another completion. Again, it's Wilson. And Big play. They've gone his way. Still throwing. Still catching. And his Whitfield. And he's shoved out. Noel milks some play caught a little bit more now. And they flip it around the end. And Whitfield bangs down to the 15. It's going to be third down. At fatigue. He is stuffed. Stop short, Cook. No gain there. It'll be fourth down. A.J. Moore. That one is not the prettiest, but it looks just fine on the score sheet. Louder than it's been all night. Kelly working back far side. Receiver broke off the route. It's fourth and ten.
Kelly delivers behind the receiver. Catch made, first down, string fellow. <laughs> Kelly, protection breaks down again, he's dropped again. Demarcus Walker, one more time. Can you have a better game? Four and a half sacks for the man who had ten and a half a year ago. Third and 16. Working down the sideline, Salaj intercepted by McFadden. And that could do it. Let's start. Cook drops the ball going for an easy touchdown. 11 penalties, 22-point deficit. And in his hometown, in his first game, DeAndre Francois and a charged-up defense lead a comeback.